During an outbreak, dozens of residents and first responders are now under isolation. For six weeks, Wuhan has been shut off from the rest of the world. Its residents living under the strictest and largest lockdown ever enforced. Amid growing fear, this Seattle skyscraper was shut down today for cleaning after an employee was exposed to a coronavirus patient. Officially, the virus has claimed more than 2,000 lives in the city and infected almost 50,000 people. But everyone we talk to believes the numbers are far higher. President Xi was today given a tutorial on the coronavirus. He made his first public appearance in three weeks to visit a research facility in Beijing. This virus is very, very potent. Please consider subscribing for the next update. And a number of colleges and universities are suspending their study abroad programs and recalling students to the U.S. Across the country, over 100 confirmed cases in more than a dozen states. The spread of the coronavirus. The World Health Organization says the risk of the virus expanding worldwide is now classified as very high. And there are new cases of the disease here in the United States. As health officials try to contain the virus, it continues to put millions of people in this country on edge and rattle the markets. Today some schools shutting down as a precaution. The government health agency admitted Friday there's a shortage of test kits. So far, fewer than 500 people in the U.S. have been tested. With FEMA preparing for a possible emergency declaration from the president, researchers in Washington state fear the virus may have been spreading here for weeks. Meanwhile, stores have been selling out of face masks, and the FDA warned there could be potential disruptions to supply or shortages of critical medical products, with as many as 20 medications with ingredients from China already at risk. And Amazon has told its 800,000 employees to postpone any non-essential travel, both internationally and within the U.S. Cases have been confirmed in 53 nations.